Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Wastaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. This is the exercise for and here is an exercise for exam P. The cumulative distribution function for healthcare costs experienced by a policyholder uh, is modeled by the function f sub x of x equal to 1 minus e to the minus x over 100 for x greater than 0 and 0 otherwise. So obviously this is exponential distribution with hazard rate minus 1 over 100. So the me... Uh, God. Here is the exercise for today. The cumulative distribution function for healthcare costs experienced by a policyholder is modeled by the function f sub x of x equal to 1 minus e to the minus x over 100 for x greater than 0 and 0 otherwise. So this is exponential distribution with hazard rate 1 over 100 and with mean 100. The policy has a deductible of 20. An insurer reimburses the policyholder for 100 of healthcare costs between 20 and 100 20 less the deductible. Healthcare costs above 120 are reimbursed at 50 percent. Let G be the cumulative distribution function of reimbursements given that the reimbursement is positive. Calculate G of 115. So let W be the actual unconditional reimbursement amount and let Y be the reimbursement given that the reimbursement is positive. Then W is 0 when X is less than or equal to 20 because of deductible of 20. Then for X between 20 and 120, it's X minus 120, which is X after the deductible. And then when X exceeds 120, the cost up to 120 is subject to a deductible of 20, so it's what's reimbursed is 120 minus 20. But anything above 120 is reimbursed only at 50%, and that's x minus 20 times 0.5. This total is can be rewritten as 100 plus half of x minus 120, but half of 120 is 60, so we're subtracting 100 minus 60, so it's 40 plus 0.5x for x greater than 120. Also, W is really uh, y is really w given that w is positive, which is the same as w given that x is greater than 20. So that y is equal to x minus 20 when x is greater than or equal to 120, less than or equal to 120, given that x is more than 20, and y is equal to 40 plus 0.5x when x is greater than 120, given that x is more than 20. Note that when x is less than or equal to 120, x minus 20 is less than or equal to 100, which is the maximum reimbursement for x in that range, and that's less than 115. So y is always less than 115 in this case. Also, we know that x has exponential distribution with memory's pro memoryless property. What does that mean? That means that if you um, survive if x has reached a certain value t, the probability that it will reach a greater value, um, let's say t plus s, given that it reached t, is the same as reaching the value of s starting from time zero. Also, the cases when x is less than or equal to 120 and when x are is greater than 120 are mutually exclusive. So we are looking for the cumulative distribution function of y 
at 115. That's the probability that y is less than or equal to 115. And we take those two cases separately, when x is less than or equal to 120 and when x is greater than 120. So then when uh, x is less than or equal to 120, because in that case always y is less than 115, um, we know that the probability that what we want is probability that x is less than or equal to 120 given that x is more than 20. And the second case, when x is more than 120, in this case y is less than or equal to 115 when the expression for y, which is 40 plus 0.5x, is less than or equal to 115. So we want that condition and x greater than 120 given that x is more than 20. And this conditional on x being more than 20, it gets, kind of gets in the way here, but we'll get rid of it using the memory list, pro memory list property in just a moment. So the first condition here, we just write it as probability that x is greater than 120 and less than 100, great, gre greater than 20 and less than or e equal to 120, given that x is more than 20. And the second condition looks like this, that we want probability of intersection of two events, 0.5x less than or equal to uh, 75, and x more than 120. All this given that x is more than 20. But of course, x, uh, 0.5x being less than or equal to 75 is the same as x being less than or equal to 150. So this second condition becomes the probability that x is simultaneously more than 120 and less than 150, given that is more than 20. But if x is more than 120 and less than or equal to 150, then it's definitely more than 20. So this expression becomes simply the ratio of probability of one, x being more than 120 and less than or equal to 150, divided by the probability that x is more than, one, uh, more than 20. But now using memoryless property, the first probability is probability of going from 20 to 120, so another 100, given that x already went to 20. And that's the same as probability of going 100 starting from 0, so it's the same as probability of x less than or equal to 100. And the second one is the probability that x goes somewhere from 120 to 150, given that it went already up to 20. And that's the same as starting from zero, probability of going somewhere between 100 and 130. And of course, if you add these two probabilities, you simply get probability that x is less than or equal to 130, which is the cumulative distribution function of x at 130, which, given that it has the uh, hazard rate of 1 over 100, the mean 100, it's simply 1 minus e to the minus uh, 130 over 100, or 1 minus e to the minus 1.3, and you can just use a calculator to quickly find this to be approximately 0.727, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material, and that problems from the Society of Actuaries belong to the Society of Actuaries, and are reproduced with permission. Good luck with your studies and good luck on the test.